Hey, how's it going? How are you doing on this wonderful Saturday? Uh, halfway through uh, November already. Almost to Thanksgiving, although Thanksgiving's not going to be much this year, you know, with all the COVID nonsense still going on. But, uh, what can you do? Um, you know, I don't know what to think about all that, honestly. I mean, I think it's obviously it's obviously a bad thing, and then it does take lives and so forth and so on. But, you know, at the same time, I can't help it. And people might disagree with me on that. That's fine. But, I, you know, when I look at the actual numbers, I look at the numbers, and every year we have similar, similar numbers with the flu. And yet... All I'm saying is, why don't we do all you know all the stuff we're doing right now with the masks and social distancing and closing stuff down and everything? Um, I just I don't understand why we don't do that every time flu season kicks in. You know, because it killed. I mean, it killed for you. a lot of people lose their lives to the flu. Uh, I just I just you know I don't understand it, but. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna not do it because I don't understand why we do. Um, you know, if we gotta wear a mask, you know, I'll wear a fucking mask. I, you know, it don't it don't bother me none. I mean, most of the time I'm here at home anyhow. Where I don't have to. Um, but if I'm gonna go, if I have to go to a store, if I have to put on a mask to do it, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's you know, people. Some people act like it's it, it's gonna kill them to do it. Uh, no, I mean. Unless you're spending all fucking day in the store. Uh, but, you know, teach their own. Everybody's got their own opinion. Everybody's got their own feelings about it. And, I, you know, I'm not going to discount anybody for for not wanting to do it. Um, but the way I look at it is, you know, if that's the price I got to pay, if it means getting past all this crap that much sooner to where we can get back to some kind of normalcy, especially with concerts, I miss concerts. I want to be able to go to the concerts I got lined up this next year. I want them to be able to happen. So me and my daughter can go see some live music. You know, I want to go to the movie theater again. Um, you know, but I don't want to go under the conditions we're in right now. Um, but, you know, just my opinion. Anyway... Um, you know, and the other thing with that is obviously vaccines. Let me tell you something. I'm not a big vaccine person. I don't think I'm, I'm not one of these like hardcore like anti-vaxxers. Um, I think there are some things that it makes sense to get a vaccine. You know, especially when it comes to some of the stuff that we've essentially eradicated over the years because of people getting vaccines and it creating kind of a herd. Uh, like immune, immunization, um, you know, that takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. But, you know, there's some things that are virtually non-existent on the planet anymore because of that. So I'm not discounting completely, but like with the flu, you know, the flu every year, you know, the flu comes every fucking year, like clockwork. No matter what we do, it's going to come back. And some incarnation, some mutation, some new strain, the flu is going to be there. It's always going to be here. Unless we find some miracle cure that essentially wipes out flu viruses in their entirety, you know, it's always going to be here, and the chances of that happening are slim to none, and slim just walked out the door. Okay, so when it comes to the COVID vaccine, eh, I don't know, but I tell you what, once again, if it means getting back to normalcy, you know, I'll get it when it comes out. I don't care. You know, and I know there's some conspiracy nuts out there that think, well, you don't know what's in that vaccine. They might they, they might be putting something in you where you think can track you. Let me tell you something. If they want to track me, by all means, go ahead. I'm either here, you know, 90% of the time, I'm either here at home, doing, you know, watching movies, playing video games, or cleaning, or I'm at work. Okay. The other 10% of the time, it's not like I'm out there doing anything crazy. You know, I'm taking road trips with my daughter, or I'm going shopping, or, you know, nothing exciting. 
I mean, nothing more. I mean, exciting. Me spending time with my daughter and us going on road trips is exciting. But I mean, as far as, you know, the national security or, you know, Big Brother needing to keep an eye on me because of it. Yeah, they'd be bored out of their freaking minds. So, it comes down to, you know, some kind of tracking or whatever everybody thinks. Well, I mean, knock, they can knock themselves out. That's fine by me. But enough about that rambling. You know, because, you know, the problem with, with rambling about stuff like that is most people are too narrow-minded to be open-minded. They either think one thing or the other, and they don't bother to even acknowledge that there can be a middle ground. Uh, so, I know when something like that's in, you're going to have people from both sides disagreeing, and people get irate about that stuff. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. I got better things to do with my time than get upset about things I have no control over. But one thing I do have control over is this box right here. This is my a mystery box. I forget what they actually called it. It might have if it has an invoice in it. Um, actually, hang on. I can probably look it up real quick. Bear with me for. One minute, I'll go back into my email, and I will look it up. All right, let's see. This is the Halloween 2020 Mystery Box from Full Moon Entertainment. I paid exactly $200 for this box. And you're thinking, holy shit, $200? Well, I've been making some extra money on buying and selling stuff, so, you know, I splurged a little bit. I got this box. I got myself a new projector for my theater room that is fucking sweet. I watched the new episode of Mandalorian last night on it. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing just how, how having like a big, it's a 120 inch screen is what I got. It makes things so much better. And playing PS3 games on it is pretty sweet too. But, yeah. So I made some money, so I decided to use some of it. Essentially, my, my pay that I kept out of the money I made. Because I take so much of it and just turn it back into buying more stuff to for the business. And I am an accredited business now. I actually got my, uh, my certification from the state. So I decided to get this because I'm a big fan of Full Moon Entertainment. I love like the Puppet Master movies, you know, Castle Freak, um, Killjoy, Evil Bong, uh, Dollman, you know, all those. All of them. But it's 200 bucks. But it is supposed to have approximately. I can't remember what they said, like, exactly or at least. So I'm going to say approximately $400 worth of merchandise in it. Now, I'm going to try to get this out without destroying the shipping box. Because since I buy a lot of, and buy and sell a lot of stuff, yeah, well, that ain't going to work. So we're just going to be without this box. I guess I could always take that side back up. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I can still keep this box in case I need a box that size for shipping something. Alright, so here is the box inside the box. It's got the cool, uh, you know, the, the logo from the company there on it. It's got the same thing on each side. And this is actually uh, signed. I don't know if you can really see it right there. Signed by Charles Band, who's the man in behind Full Moon Features and Full Moon Entertainment. And it's numbered. I got number 25 out of 100. So they only did 100 of these boxes. So let's dive in. And see what I got. I'm going to guess there's going to be Blu-rays in here. There's going to be DVDs. 
There's probably going to be maybe a few, maybe Delirium magazines. Maybe some comics. Could be statues. Could be prop replicas. Could be autograph stuff. Who knows? Alright. So. Let's go ahead. Of course, anything that I already have, I'll then turn around and resell on Mercari. So. Alright, first thing. We've got a full moon masks. Perfect. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Now, see, I'll wear this mask. I probably won't wear it at work. But I could see wearing this like out of the sort of people. But flip out. There we go. From Castle Freak. Shout out to Jonathan Fuller. Uh, who played the Castle Freak under all that makeup and prosthetics. Uh, you can kind of see. See if I can get it to work. You can kind of see. It. Yeah, see there's actual picture of him. And all that makeup and prosthetics. I can't imagine how long it took to do all that. But yeah, there's an actual face mask. So, that's kind of cool. So we got another one. We got a couple of them in here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this one is Radu. Yeah. And Radu is, of course, from the vampire movies uh, subspecies. And then, here's a third mask of the Ginger Dead Man. That looks pretty cool too. And for the clown lovers, how about Killjoy? So that's pretty really cool. So now at least when I go out, as long as we have to wear masks, I've got uh, some good ones to choose from. I don't know whether I'll keep. I might actually, I might actually sell the Ginger Dead Man one. Killjoy, Radu, and Castle Freak. I'm definitely going to keep the. I like the Ginger Dead movies, but eh, I don't know. I don't. I just don't see me wearing that mask. So we'll put that off to the side. All right. Next, we've got a. This looks like a like three and a half inch action figure from Tourist Trap. We have Mr. Slauson. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, Full Moon got into the action figure, uh, uh, their action figure lines. So they, you know, they they do these themselves. That's pretty cool. I mean, you don't often see figures like that small. So that's pretty cool. It says collect all the full moon action figures, including Blade, Torch, Jester, which those are all from Puppet Master, and the Laser Blast Alien. So. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. We've got. Speaking of Puppet Master, there is the Jester, which this is nice because I actually have, yep, yeah, I already have the Blade one down there, so I'll probably actually move that one so I can kind of put these all in the same, try to put them in the same area. Maybe I'll move my one print that I have over there. I can hang it up someplace else. Maybe. Maybe not. I'll figure something out. But yeah. So there's that. Jester. I do love the Puppet Master movies. Oh, and I got... This is nice. So I got all three from Puppet Master now. Because there is the torch figure. 
So that's cool. Of course, they probably know that the last time they had, not this big, but the last time they did like a mystery box thing. I think the one year I bought mystery box and it was like, it was like three or four mystery boxes. You got them like every few months or something like that. And I got the blade figure in one of those. So. Nice. Alright, next we've got a oh, deck of cards. I already got a set of these. There's a, a deck of cards. So, from Haunted Casino Ghost Cards. So, those will be for sale. On, I don't know whether I'll put those on Mercari or not. I don't, I'll have to look up and see kind of what they're selling for. Because Mercari has like a minimum of anything you list has to be five bucks. Has to be listed at five dollars or more. Um, so, as long as these are selling for more than five bucks, I can put them on there. I can always put the shipping in. Alright, next we've got... Uh, this is kind of like a collector's type item. Obviously, I don't, I don't have BCR, so I won't use it. But this is a laser blast on VHS. Oh, wait, no. I take that back. It's made to look like a VHS carton, but inside it actually has... A remastered Blu-ray, DVD, and the Laser Blast Alien figure in blister pack. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. I might actually take them out. Take them out of here, and I'll just keep the box. I'll keep the box and and put it up here somewhere. But then I can hang the figure up. All right, man. We got all kinds of holy shit. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, I don't know where to start at. I really don't. Let's start with this. We got a, we got a box set here. The Charles Band DVD Collection Volume One. This includes. Meridian, Crash and Burn, Dr. Mordred, and Head of the Family. I think I have a few of those on DVD already, so I might actually keep this set and then the individual DVDs I'll list on Mercari. Alright, we got a ton of DVDs in here. Some of these I probably already have. All right, we've got Shrunken Heads. I'll have to go down and look and see which ones I got and which ones I don't. I'm almost positive I have this one. Bad Channels. Picture music from Blue Oyster Cult. Next, we've got Ginger Dead Man 3, Saturday Night Cleaver. Next up, yep, I've got this one. In fact, I think I've gotten this one a couple times now, so this will be for sale. Zambo, it's one of, part of their Grindhouse collection. Next, we get a film by Danny Draven, Hell Asylum, The Evil Wants Out. Next, Zarkord the Invader, Citizens of the Earth Beware. It's kind of like a, almost like like a mecha mecha monster type movie. 
And I don't have that one. Never heard of it. And here is from their Moonbeam Pictures um, production studio, which is kind of like the ones that are geared. They still have a little bit of a horror element to them, but they're geared more towards younger kids and like teens. Here's one called Timekeeper. And this one, I'm almost positive I have this one. Because the cover looks really familiar. We have Horror Vision. The Future of Horror. It says, Des, a webmaster, mistakenly logs on to HorrorVision.com, a website that kills all who come across it. When Tony, a photographer, and his beautiful girlfriend, Dazzy, both fall victim to the site, a mysterious figure known as Bradbury comes to Des's aid to unravel the evil mystery and stop Manifesto, the sinister being at the helm. Pop, I'm almost positive I had that one. I don't think I've watched it yet. Or maybe I have. I don't know. Alright, so those were DVDs. Now we have some Blu-rays. And speak. I think I have this on DVD. So I'll probably keep this Blu-ray and then I'll get rid of the DVD. But there is Castle Freak starring Jonathan Pooler. The Creeps Deformed Monsters. Undersized, undead, and angry. <laughs> Next is Hideous, a.k.a. Deformed Freaks. I don't think I have that one either. Oh, I have this one. Although I don't know whether I have it on Blu-ray. I might have it on a regular DVD. There's Lurking Fear. A big stack here and then we have Dollman starring Tim Thomerson and Jackie Earl Haley remaster the high definition yes yeah, so like some of these I, I think I have but I don't think I have them on blu-ray so all right well let's pull so we got some comics in here but this looks really cool this is from the Full Moon Statue Collection. Here we have the namesake of the Head of the Family movie. Uh, let's see if I can open this up. Uh, yep. uh, it, might be, uh, it's, well, it might not be taped. Closed. I'll probably keep the box too. But I'm probably just Set this out. Here we go. That's pretty cool. That styrofoam piece of art. Yeah, that's cool. I'll probably. I don't know, I might keep, I might put this up here, or I might put it down in the, we don't have any room in the theater room, I don't think. Let's find out. In the meantime, we'll set that back there. I don't want to keep the box, though. So, right. Put the box. back together and then I can just keep the box up here I'll set it down here for now alright now we're getting into magazines I 
in comics. So, this is Charles Band's Deadly Ten presents Sorority Babes in the Slime. It's probably this Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolorama, which I have on DVD. There's a comic book of it. Advertisement for that one. Necropolis Legion now streaming. Yeah, I think Full Moon has their own uh, streaming service too, which I don't. I haven't signed up for. Um, maybe eventually. All right. Next, from again from the Deadly Ten presents. This is the Shadow Heart Curse. Getting a little freaky right there. And another one. See, these are all number ones. So this one's a number one. This is Bride of Head of the Family. And then we have Ouija's Hall Halloween Night. And then the last comic is Necropolis Legion, which is from an ad I just showed you. That's pretty cool that they branched out and have like their own comics. So we've got a few Delirium magazines in here. This is the special 90s rewind issue. It says Blair Witches, Board Games, Slashers, and Soundtracks. A tent full of terror. The 21st evil issue of Delirium magazine. Good magazine. It's got a lot of like in-depth articles about stuff in Full Moon and actors and movies, so forth, so on. Good reading right there. Got a few copies of Delirium already. This is the seventh issue. Cult horror sci-fi fantasy exploitation. Joe Dante on The Howling, the greatest werewolf film ever made. I would, ha I would have to, I personally, I would put it right up there with uh, American Werewolf in London. Yeah, speaking of the old, old mystery boxes, that's, that's one of the ones I got. Actually, I think I got it twice before. And here we go, The Master of Italian Terror Speaks. This is the 10th issue. Oh, this is going to be a sweet one. One of my favorite, my favorite Italian directors. Dario Argento. That's nice. Sweet. Alright, we're not done yet. Still got some things in the bottom in here. Like we've got a couple movie posters. That's why it says signature series. I don't see any signatures on it. But it's a nice little like lithograph print of the original movie poster for Robot Wars. I'll probably hold on to that. I really don't have room to like hang it up anywhere. 
This one, most people, anybody that's watched horror movies, especially back in the old 80s, I think this was 80s, like eight, late 80s, early 90s, I want to say. Um, there we have Ghoulies. That one's actually kind of cool. I'd probably want to get something like, something to put it into, but yeah, it'd be nice if I had some place to put this up. Somewhere. Oh well, I'll hold on to it then. Alright, and the last thing in the box is right at the bottom. I have trouble getting it out of there. This looks like an actual artist rendering lithograph print. This is an exclusive print to this box. But it's for Retro Puppet Master. It's got Toulon's chest with all the Retro Puppet Master figures sitting in it. So, that's pretty cool. Nice. These I might actually just keep keep in the box for now and maybe even keep the delirium magazines in the box and I can even set this this box back in this box all right now I know that box came out of there how did it So, take that and then just set this back here. I'm back. Alright. And then the comics. I'll just stick over here with my other comics. So, nice. Nice. So, that was it. That was, uh, that was the box. So, let's do, let's do quick. The statue. I'm going to guess the statue is probably a 30 or 40 dollar statue um, the comics were let's see there was five of them they were 399 a piece so that's 20 bucks so right there 70 um, the prints the prints I would guess would probably sell for I want to say probably 10 bucks a piece so there was three of those, so there's a hundred there's a hundred dollars right there. These figures are I think they normally go for I don't know like eight or nine bucks or something like that. Look it up real quick. I don't know whether um let's see. Alright, well this isn't, okay, it's not bringing anything up on there, so I'll just go to, I will go to Google, Puppet Master, I'm assuming these are probably like three and a half inch bigger.
All right, so this one actually, the torch, most of the listings they have at some of these toy stores are selling for about $12. So you got three figures there, so there's $36 there. The masks. I would guess the mask price sell for seven or eight bucks. You say eight. And there was four of them. So there's 32. Over here there's 68. So there's a hundred. That's 168 dollars, roughly. And that's not. That's not counting the Blu-rays. So. I definitely, yeah, it's definitely, when you figure in all this, it's probably definitely right around $400 is what was in this box. There's you got one, two, three, five Blu-rays. They're probably about $15 or $16 a piece, if not more. I mean, it might actually be more, more like 20 DVDs are probably like $15 a piece. That box set is probably a good $25, $30. So, yeah, it is worth it. Definitely worth it. So, I'll take all, all these downstairs and look and see which ones I got, which ones I can get rid of. So, keep an eye on uh, Mercari. If you got the Mercari app, check it out. If you don't have the Mercari app, download it. It's a great place to uh, buy and sell stuff. Uh, so, check it out. I'll actually leave a link um, for Mercari down below, along with a link to Full Moon um, Entertainment and, and their uh, online shop. So, you can check out all the things Full Moon Entertainment. Everybody have a great weekend. And uh, I'll see you later.